My name is Jana and I'm part of the marketing team for Alucab. I have somehow managed to convince my bosses to allow me to take some of our Alucab kitted vehicles out when I go camping. I then try my hand at filming these adventures so that I can share them with you. In this specific series, I'll be taking the 76 Land Cruiser with the Alucab Thor roof conversion all the way to Namibia. So stay tuned for some ups and downs, as well as some pretty epic scenery through the Namibian dunes and more. For the past four days, we've been camping out deep in the Richtersveld next to the Orange River. The time has come for us to pack up and make our way back down the steep and winding Akkadis Pass. We are on our way back to Fjolstrif where we need to redo our COVID test because we tested positive the first time. We are going to test on the Namibian border and hopefully we'll be negative this time around. The route we took was unlike anything I've ever seen before. It was nothingness upon nothingness and it was absolutely awesome. We later found out that this route is actually part of the Namakwa Eco 4x4 trail, which is now definitely on top of my to-do list. We are currently on this crazy route track. I've never driven through landscapes like these in my life. Um, very arid, very desolate. And here, in the middle of nowhere, there's just hundreds and hundreds of these little piles of stacked rocks. I know there's a name for it. It's on the tip of my tongue, but I just can't remember it at the moment. But it is insane and quite cool actually we're definitely going to build one so we just built one it's this little guy over here i wonder if we'll ever be able to find it again if we come this way again but let's see little rock child Okay guys, so I just had the most glorious shower after three nights of camping next to the Orange River. Um, so feeling super fresh. Um, we are once again next to the Orange River, but just to give you a quick recap of the day. Um, we left at about 8 a.m. this morning from our campsite. Um, we decided to not go over the border today. Um, because timing was just not on our side. It would have been a super long day and most probably a long wait at the actual border post um, for our COVID test results and then driving to the place we're supposed to be camping at tonight, it just, it wouldn't have worked out. So instead we took the most amazing route um, back to Sendlingsdrift, where, uh, I mean Fjolsdrift, where we camped the first night. So we're back here now. Um, not at the same campsite, but just down the road. Um, yeah, saw the most amazing scenery today. We got here at about 3 p.m. and um, unpacked the Land Cruiser, cleaned everything up because of the wind 
and the dust <laughs> where we were camping at um yeah just wasn't look at my little friend just wasn't great <laughs> so everything is clean and packed and it's as if we have just packed for namibia for the first time so hopefully tomorrow is a fresh start and we get to actually cross the border um, but for now we are going to chill and enjoy this beautiful campsite we have gotten for tonight now half past six and we just did our COVID tests here on the Namibian border post. Simon made us some coffee and now we wait. It can take anything between two to six hours. <laughs> so it's a waiting game but um, as the poster inside says negative is the new positive. <laughs> the results are negative! <laughs> Oh my gosh, we're happy. We are so relieved. Finally got it. It would be like a disappointment if you could have tested it. You have no, uh, you have no idea. No, they they be. Not allow you to come in. We were, we were so, FIFA under documentation. We were positive. So that, that so that a waiting week. it worth it because now you it finally you are. We were positive a week ago. Is it? And then we had to delay coming through. Oh, okay. And now we take it negative. Alright, what do you no, mean? I call you this. Right. Thanks, my man. Okay, enjoy. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank Have you. a good Bye. day. <laughs> Finally. Okay guys, so we have made it. We are in Namibia. We haven't driven much further because we've stopped here at the engine and the Wimpy, of course. Um, so going to fill up, get some toasted sandwiches and snacks for the road and head off to our first location in Namibia. about a half an hour into the drive and um, we're on this gravel road and we've just come across two people in a Volkswagen City Golf and they are stuck in the sand so Simon is out there helping them. Let me get you a better view.
We turned off into a little town called Roshpina because we still had some grocery shopping to do for the next few days. But with it being Boxing Day, the day after Christmas, all of the shops were closed and there was literally not a soul out on the streets. Luckily, we could do some bare minimum shopping at the gas station. As we drove on to our camp spot for the night, our surroundings kept changing. I definitely started to realize that Namibia has many faces and we were only just starting to see some of them. Okay guys, so we finally made it to our first camp spot in Namibia and it is absolutely breathtaking. Um, it's a little bit windy, so it's the first night um, of this holiday that I'm actually wearing long pants and a jacket and a beanie, um, but it is so awesome. The place is called Family Hideout um, and it's on the Namme Brand. We just set up, it's almost 8 p.m. We're trying to figure out what is making that sound. We don't know if it's birds or ground squirrels, but hopefully we'll find out tomorrow. We'll ask a guide. Um, yeah, long day of driving, um, beautiful day of driving. I haven't been in Namibia um, since 2015, end of 2015. So it's really refreshing to see again. And also I haven't been in this these parts of Namibia before so really awesome super excited about what's to come um, I'll give you a little tour of the campsite tomorrow morning um, it's really nicely set up with like our own little um, ablution block um, and a little shelter and a nice fireplace that are we well Simon is busy getting that going so yeah looking forward to a relaxing evening and um, a good night's sleep. We got up really early this morning, so yeah, excited for tomorrow. And that is that for this week's video. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please leave a like and a comment down below. And then I will see you in the next one where we finally explore a bit more of what Namibia has to offer.